So in this video, we're gonna drive an FSD beta version 10.3 and show you what chill, average, and assertive look like on the exact same drive. Now, during this video, we are going to be using the audio from the assertive, which will be the bottom right drive. So that way you kind of have a gauge of what we're talking about if you want to follow along. But it is interesting to see how all three driving modes operate. to Walgreens. Should I turn it on here? Right. Let's see what happens. Okay, this is making me kind of nervous. Oh, no one say, coming from the almost left. could have gone a different No one route. coming from the Look. right. Luckily it's going the same way. <laughs> okay, I mean, it did it. It's a little weird. I, I guess did. it's trying to avoid crossing that yellow line, whereas right. most drivers would probably really do that but yeah. yeah it still did it I mean I did have to give it a little acceleration to tell it it's okay but it did it I was impressed it reminds me like I feel like I'm the driver teaching the car how to drive like a student driver mm -hmm. and I'm just like it's okay you got this you got this we believe in you okay yeah, so like, we are an aggressive yeah Right, or Assert assertive. 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 Surrey. No, it's assertive, not aggressive. I thought it was aggressive all yeah. That's my bad. Assertive is maybe more positive. Aggressive is too yeah. violent. Or assertive means you know what you want. Yep. And you're gonna go. Luckily, the traffic's pretty much the same every way. Oh, there's a cycle this time. Oh, two cycles. So oh, let's see that's what it does. Different. And, oh, and cycles the other direction too, so. Oh. Wow. Ooh, wow. Wow. <laughs> oh, wow. That was cool. It did all that on its own. I didn't steer it at all. I didn't modulate the throttle. The throttle. Nothing. It, yeah. It, like, it did everything. Threaded the needle through the cyclist coming yep. both, dire both directions. That was impressive. I was ready to take hold, though, when yeah. needed. I might have slowed down just a little, a little bit. bit more, yeah. But um, we are on assertive, so maybe it, maybe the regular one would have done that. What would have happened if there's an oncoming car? Would it have stopped until hopefully, it's clear it and should then have. It, it Hopefully so. And maybe okay. that's something we could test yeah. ourselves. When yeah. We can get some friends on some bikes. <laughs> yeah, we'll get, we'll get Scott in the S100D. We'll get some, some other Greg, friends. if you're watching this, we would like you on your bike. No, yeah, and then... then uh, yeah. It doesn't seem to have slowed down as much. Yeah. Okay. Maybe? No, this is oh. different because we didn't have. Uh -oh, uh -oh, uh -oh. I took over because I didn't yeah. want to risk it. it. And again, those are motorcycles. Might have been more successful if it was. I didn't want to risk it. Yeah. Because it it's... felt like it was starting to turn. Yeah. And those guys would have been upset. So. I would have been upset too. Yeah. They were going fa too fast. They shouldn't have turned right there. Okay. We shouldn't have turned right there. Okay. Well, here we are, back on it again. Yeah. I mean, it is on assertive. But yeah, I start to feel the wheel turn a little bit to like yeah. go in front of them and I didn't want to... I'm sure the car would have stopped, but I didn't want to risk they, it. The problem is, is those guys are motorcycles and if they try to swerve and they fall over or something like that, yeah. it's like... It's not going to be good. But still, only one disengagement. Out of three drifts, two and a half drifts. Did a little... No, actually... It, that felt like it's a little still, faster. Yeah, but it still is kind of a little hesitant to start back up right here. Mm -hmm. It's like there's obviously nothing ahead of us, but it's like, and it's going downhill. It could just coast. But it's like not even on the speed limit. I wish, like, it's weird. Some turns it slows down far in advance, and some it slows down in the turn once it's kind of like already yeah. complete. And some so turn, that's kind of odd. And then also after you've done the turn, sometimes it. Most of the time so far, it goes really kind of cautiously before accelerating. Yeah. But this one coming up, I think it will accelerate out of it a little bit better. And I think that's one thing maybe maybe they tweaked in 10.3 versus 10.2. Because when I saw some of the 10.2 videos, it was like flooring it right off our curve. Yep. And people were like, whoa, you know, that's a little scary. Yeah. And so maybe they dialed it way down. But yeah, I'm nuts. So here I think it will do well. Yeah, still a little hesitant right there by that yeah. guardrail, and then it speeds up a little bit. But yeah, I'm not seeing a huge difference between the three profiles. No, me either. Perhaps we need testing in different scenarios. 
Yeah. But, but I, I mean, thought for sure we would have seen yeah. something in our... But I mean, this is still good to see that we've used all three profiles on the same drive and we're not seeing a huge... I mean, it's able to handle them at least. Yeah. And we're not seeing anything scary. The only time was when it almost, you know, that left-hand turn right there. That being said, I'll probably keep it in average. Yeah. Because it does say some things like on when you change it, oops, it says like, oh, I guess I can't change it right now, but it does oh, say yeah. on assertive, it says in this profile, your Model S will have a smaller follow distance, perform more frequent speed lane changes, will not exit passing lanes, and may perform rolling stops. And so we, we're not really uh, going in passing lanes and stuff like that, because that would be on, on multi-lane highways and stuff. And we're not seeing a lot of stop signs either on this route. It's more like yields and traffic circles. Yeah. So we're not maybe seeing some of those differences. So I guess if we choose a different route in the future, try to find something that has stop signs and multi-lane highways and stuff. It's like we need to go down, like I told you, on, on Golden Road, uh, the old, old Golden Road. We need to try that because it's got all those traffic circles, but they're a little like weird ones, you know? There is a car coming, so if she's gonna go, she needs to go. Now here it used a turn signal. Did it use a turn signal in the past? I don't remember that. Yes, it did. Okay. Every time. Now, huh. I probably would have waited for that car because they did change lanes to go around us. Yeah. Well, that was nice. But I like if I was driving, I would have probably waited until they had passed. So I don't know what all the computer saw. Now here's, you might want to push the accelerator to go yeah. through. Actually, there's not as many cars backed up as before. Mm, I probably still will. But yeah, just because otherwise those people will be like, hey, we're, 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 oh, they're actually turning right, so it's not, but did you do that? Yeah, or, okay, I did. The, okay, because, yeah, and so now it's going to turn and it's going to cross over right here. So that's some place, yeah, we need to flag it. Yep. Not it looks like they're going to put a light in there, but there isn't one currently, so there's no reason to slow down. And they've never had a stop sign there. No. Nope. But it is an interesting T intersection, so it's just like trying to figure out what's going on, I guess. That's what Somebody else, I wonder if they're doing their... No, they're going way fast. <laughs> that is a plaid, though. Yeah. That was a plaid. It's like, they don't have the beta. Or no, they, they were definitely driving or if fast. they do, they're not using it. Plus, they were crossing... I could tell, too, the reason why, because they didn't change lanes right there on the... Yellow, or on the white line. Yep. <laughs> like ours always does. Always okay. being like... So I like, would never come to a complete stop right here. Well, unless there was traffic. But there is one. So see, like, it kind of, like, goes to the far yeah. left. Well, actually, there's only one lane there, oh, technically. True. true. So, yeah, it splits into two lanes right there. So it's using the full lane. And I did some see some other videos where on wider roads where there's no line, I'll just go down the middle. Okay. Even if it's supposed to be two lanes, it doesn't necessarily know that. But yeah, we. I mean, if there's no lane marking, I could see a human yeah. thinking yeah. there's only yeah. one lane as well. Especially if you're not familiar with the area or whatever. It did kind of jut a little bit to the left when we passed that, uh, those cones there. Oh, oh okay. How much battery time do you have left? Okay, now this is a little different because we, oh, okay. The last, twice, last two times we had a red light, so... I mean, we basically had yellow on that Yeah, one. but I just wanted... Uh, yeah, I mean, we went through, but I just... It's not an exact same thing. We had a red light the last two times, so it... First time was complete red, came to a complete stop. Second time, it changed green right before, and this time it was green, changed yellow. Yep. But yes, it should be turning... Changing lanes at about 0.3 miles, I guess. The last time it did it at 0.4 miles. I can't remember the first one. I think it was 0.3, or it might have been 0.4. I know when I looked at it, it was a 0.3. So. And now there's a car, though, over there that's turning into the road. So that, oh, and there's two cars. Okay. I didn't even see that Jeep because I thought I it was thought turning. I thought the Jeep was turning, yeah. It is impressive. What we should do is we should get a hot cup of coffee and fill it almost to the top. And oh God, and no! Drive around with it. Don't spill my coffee. 
That's what they do in Driver Day. I've never seen that. Oh, uh, well, that's what they did in, in the olden year? days. Yeah. We'll just say the olden days. In the 20th century. I wonder what it's going to do. Because, see, I have to keep giving it a little right accelerator. We, yeah, well, you can just negate it here because we don't need it to go all the way over to... Uh, you can go through the comfort channel again if you want. So there you have it. I'm literally still editing it right now because I wanted to kind of see how they all look like side by side. And I can actually see kind of going back how Assertive does act a little bit more confident in some of the turns and everything. Now, I'm not sure if it's because I had done this three times, one in chill, one in average, and one in Assertive. Could it have been learning a little bit more about the turns and how things operate? Maybe, uh, but I will say overall, super impressed with FSD beta, how we have tested it thus far. I can't wait to test it even more. Out of everything we got footage of for this video, I will say I was most impressed with the bike situation. That actually was really nice to see. I really appreciated that. It was cool to see how the car would actually like thread the needle is I think actually that's what we called it too because there were two bikes on our side of the road one bike on the other side of the road and they always tend to ride over the lines a little bit so it can get kind of narrow there so it was interesting to see how it actually handled that and I will go ahead and give it two thumbs up because that's pretty much how I would have handled it so I couldn't be happier for that but that's basically it for this one I hope you guys enjoyed it definitely comment down below let me know do you drive your FSD beta in chill average or assertive and what you prefer, what have you found works best for you? We can go and talk about it down there. And also take a look at the video, maybe watch it once or twice and kind of focus on each different driving method one time and kind of see if you see any differences that I may have missed. As always, huge thanks to our channel sponsor, Abstract Ocean. If you're looking to accessorize your model SX3 or Y, definitely check them out, all linked down below and using code Tesla inventory get you 15% off of your first purchase. A lot of really awesome, useful, and fun accessories to really help create your car your own, as well as protect any of the internal bits and pieces from scratching, as well as like glare from the sun, etc. So that's basically it. Hopefully you enjoyed it. As always, a huge thumbs up if you did go and click here to subscribe here for some other ones, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.